y'all it's all of destiny and in this video i will be sharing with you all everything that i do to care for my hair in the winter time to avoid dry and brittle hair that breaks because of this winter weather yes girl <laughs> and i will also be introducing to you all some of the new products that Clorea sent over to me they will be launching these products as part of their ultra nourishing collection it has abyssinia oil and the products will launch online at Clorea.com, sephora as well as ulta coming soon in march so this is how i'm starting off with my hair i was wearing two buns for about a week my ends are looking a little fried so I want to go ahead and get that taken care of. Just going to quickly remove my buns. I like to show you all where I'm starting from. The way when you get to the end product, it's like, you know, you get and you understand how we got there, girl. It's a process. Doing your hair is a process. And we're going to share the entire thing. So this is the dryness of my scalp in some areas. I did trim my ends, but they look a little brittle. So I definitely want to keep and take care of those. So I'm starting off by taking Clorin's Ultra Nourishing Shampoo Cream with Abyssinia Oil. It's a conditioning cleanser with a rich and creamy formula. And it has about 15% plant oils in the ingredients, including the 5% Abyssinia Oil. And it combines the cleansing action of a shampoo with the benefits of a nourishing care treatment to comfort the scalp, restore the hair's softness, suppleness, and radiance, and just overall make your hair more manageable. My hair twice, and <laughs> you all can see the texture that I do still. You shampooed it? I'm yeah, sorry. I shampooed it. It looks good. <laughs> it has my hair feeling so soft right now. Like, I'm not even just saying it. Like, I'm not being paid to say that at all, but I gotta let y'all know how soft my hair is let me comb it a little bit because i think my hair be kind of throwing y'all off when i don't comb it out y'all be like oh wait it's longer than y'all think actually but you know i just don't be combing it out half the time do y'all see that and i normally don't even comb my hair through like after shampoo that's crazy oh my god hair finna be on silk you can tell like when you shampoo your hair Condition it. What kind of results you gonna have with your blow dry and flat iron? Which I don't think I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna roll it set my hair and then wrap it up to where it's straight. But anywho, that's this side. I'm not gonna call the other side on camera too. So soft. My mirror is like behind me, so I'm not giving y'all no eye contact. <laughs> So after shampooing my hair two times using the shampoo cream, we're now going to go ahead and apply the mask. I'm going to do four sections. It just makes it easier for me to make sure that I'm getting my hair covered thoroughly from the root to tip all over. And this product is comprised of 23 nourishing key ingredients. The glycerin in this product acts as an anti-static agent which helps to tame frizz, reinforce detangling action, and also makes the hair easier to style. And this mask is also paraben free, it's biodegradable, and it's a vegan formula if you're interested in that as well you can leave this mask on your hair anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes just depending on your hair needs I'm going to go ahead and do the entire 20 that way I can make sure that my hair is well nourished and cared for for the winter months I actually want to talk through this part right here instead of the voiceover that I'm always doing so I'm just making four sections which I probably already said in my voiceover and I'm not really using the comb at all because the shampoo just has my hair like completely soft and just pliable and work withable so I'm just taking like a small amount since it is a mask it's going to feel different from like a conditioner mm -hmm. It's much thicker. I'm just quickly applying that to the front of the section first. The way that I'm doing this in four sections is kind of like a relaxer. It's not a relaxer. This is a hair mask. But I'm saying my technique for applying it is like a relaxer. It's on the side here as well. And I only have like a really small mirror. So I'm just feeling my way to go around this part. Ow. Hey, when I bought my nail like that. That's Lincoln in the background. So y'all can come in and say, hey, Lincoln, if y'all would like. Making sure that I do touch my root. And I'm smoothing all the way down from the root. Because I am about seven weeks post relaxer um a lot of y'all ask me sometimes how i'm able to get through it and different things like that for one my hair texture everybody's texture is different just applying it to my root and kind of keeping those moisturized prevents breakage and it prevents it from being dry and like where you can't get the comb through it chances are most times if you just put some moisturizer on it but yeah i'm getting all sidetracked that is pretty much how i deal with it i just kind of put a little more care into taking care of my new girl. since i recently trimmed my ends i definitely don't want to neglect those and if you haven't seen my trimming video i will leave it in the card above if you're interested y'all see how i'm getting through this right now obviously i wouldn't pull my fingers through it too much but it's like super smooth this is what it looks like before i put the product on there it's flowy 
So the Abyssinia oil is actually cultivated from a herb here in North America. It's rich in fatty acids and is also scientifically shown to have nourishing and lipid replenishing properties that meet the specific needs of all types of curly hair girl, just all types, anywhere from 3B to 4C. This mask has you covered. And the shampoo cream as well as the mask will be launching a part of their uh, ultra nourishing collection in March. So, yeah. Hit up Ulta and Sephora and get you some. <laughs> okay, so all four sections are done. It says after using shampoo. I gotta look up like on Google how Google pronounces this word. Ab Abyssinia? Abyssinia. Abyssinia. <laughs> there you go. Abyssinia. We're gonna go. My initial reaction like from just like applying it because I know I haven't rinsed it out. It's, it smells good because I know people always want to know what products smell like. The smell is really nice. It's like a rose bush. On a nice hot. I will not explain day. it. You smell it. You good with, with this kind of stuff. Tell me what, what you down think. Slowly. Okay, let me see. It smells good. <laughs> oh, it do. Say. Like when I rinse it out, my hair is gonna be just like this wrap finna be right. You know, like hair finna be on point. Like lay, like slay, like what I say. Like okay, like <laughs> yes, like. <laughs> I gotta stop doing them voiceovers. They throw me off a little bit. I haven't talked to y'all live in forever. Like, yeah, I'm just applying a little bit more to my edges. Make sure we got all of that good because I'm always trying to lay and slay them. And I don't want them to just be like lay, slay, slay dead them. on the I floor. Don't like, <laughs> I have a cap like this. You can definitely use a bag from Kroger, from Dollar Tree, Save a Lot, um, Charlie Ruth, wherever. And just put that on your hair. Like so. <laughs> And so I allowed the hair mask to sit for 20 minutes. Now I'm going to proceed to rinse it out using warm to cooler water. If you have natural hair or curly hair for the winter time, I would definitely suggest this mask for you. Curly hair tends to have a less distribution of oil along the hair shaft, which causes it to be dry and brittle. And plus the fact that the cuticle is already thin and flat, it makes the hair fragile and more prone to breakage. Besides that, styling your hair and straightening it actually weakens and destructures the inner layers of the hair shaft, which makes it even more fragile <laughs> and porous. So to meet the needs of the super curly and curly hair girls out there, Clarine is actually introducing the ultra nourishing and restorative hair care collection with the Abyssinia oil, which will help to penetrate deep into the hair fiber and the scalp for intense hydration and repair from the inside out. And so I definitely want to also send a big thank you to, Cl oh, <laughs> to Clarine for um, sending me these products. They do launch in March. I was super late checking my P.O. box, y'all. Like, this product was chilling in my P.O. box since like February the 6th, but that's completely beside the point. Definitely check out Cloran. Um, if you have used some of their products before, these will be launching as a part of their new collection, as I've probably said like 10 times already. I just gotta make sure y'all know, like y'all got it, okay? So yeah, check it out, Cloran.com, Sephora.com, as well as Ulta.com. They will be clone. They will be launching in March of 2000. 2017 and after rinsing out the mask I'm just going to proceed with my regular styling routine um, just applying my leave-in products and as far as keeping my hair from being dry and built why brittle as well I like to go ahead and oil my scalp I use whatever oil I have at the time my hair does look a little greasy on camera but that is the flash and the lights so it's not like you know it's not that greasy in real life trust me it looks good <laughs> so yeah these are the finished products these are the finished products. This is the finished product of my hair and what it looks like. Uh, these products definitely got my hair feeling like amazing. I will definitely continue to use those. Questions or comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. Be sure to get connected with me on Instagram and Twitter for when I'm not here on YouTube. That way we can stay connected, girl. Connected. And definitely check out more of my videos if you're interested. I'll leave them down in the information bar down below. And I thank you all so, so, so much for watching this video. Mm -hmm.